does not exist without struggle. Our civilization is under constant assault from forces we would once have called the powers of hell. In truth, these forces are far more ancient than Christianity. More ancient than any religion that has left its trace upon our species' soul. It is evil incarnate. And it has been working to destroy our highest aspirations. Our faith in love and light since we came into being. But we do not dare name this evil. To do so would be to admit to its presence in our world. To acknowledge that its servants walk the same streets that we walk. And its overlords, depraved, corrupt, and hungry for our flesh and our destruction, are hidden in the empty wastes of our planet, awaiting the day of mankind's execution. Only one power stands between us and universal death. Warrior magicians who have dedicated their lives to our protection. Most of us will never know their names, nor the battlefields where they wage their secret wars, nor will we ever honor their dead. But they are with us, always. Armed, vigilant, and ready to die for another tomorrow. Jericho. They are called Jericho. They know all too well what the enemy is capable of. That before our species perishes, we will be tortured into madness, devoured alive. They will do all in their power to protect us from such atrocities. If the world exists tomorrow, now you know why. Jericho. city emerged from the sands of time, bringing with it the seed of all evil. Rawlings, Church, Cole, secure the entrance. The rest of you with me.
happening again. Where is this? This is where it all started. This isn't real. It's as real as your soul. Help me. squad. We are the top secret combat arm of the U.S. Army Chaplain's Corps. As far as the government is concerned, we don't exist. Each of us is a specialist in one of the arcane arts. The Army calls what we do covert occult warfare. It's just a fancy euphemism for witches with guns. There was a time when the church would have burned people like us as heretics and monsters. Now, we fight their wars for them. Not much of a view, is it? But somewhere down there is the cause of 4,000 years of human conflict. Name any conqueror. Napoleon, Kublai Khan, they've all fought and bled for Al-Khali. It may well be the oldest city in human history. It's also ground zero for Operation Vigil. The rest is strictly need to know. And for the moment, you don't. Vigil was my first assignment with the department. Recognize that cheerful fellow beside me? Arnold Leach. Our old friend. This was taken back in 62, before we had any idea what he was capable of. Ritual murders in Baltimore, gas attacks in Sydney, and those poor kids in London. You got it. Anyway, Leach and his so-called Brotherhood of the Dark Rapture have been trying to gain access to Al Khalid for nearly 20 years. It seems that two days ago, he finally gave up on subtlety. Where'd you get these? Remote viewers at Langley got some psychographic images out before Leach shut them down. Okay, we'll run this just like the Glamis breach a few years ago. Cold scans for temporal anomalies? No, no, this isn't the same, not even close. Trust me when I tell you that the team has never faced anything like this before. What's the plan? Infiltrate the dig site and neutralize Leech and his cronies before they can open the breach. Now, Colonel Ackland of the Swiss Guard is providing perimeter security. He'll give us a sit rep once we're on the ground. Wake up, Frank. <sighs> we there yet? God, I hate the fucking desert. Pretend it's the beach. What the hell is that? It's happening again. This is where it all started. Help me. Hold on, this is gonna get rough. Captain, there are no reports of sandstorm activity in this area. This is not a natural phenomenon, sir. This is as close as we get. That wind will snap this bird in two. We'll take it from here! Safe flying! See you at the LZ. You waiting for an invitation, Jericho? Go, go, go! Received. The sandstorm engulfed the facility and cut off all communication. 
We have reason to believe the storm itself is impenetrable. That's beautiful. I'll check back with you once we're inside. Jericho out. We having fun yet? Negative. I'm picking up something, Captain. There's a tunnel around here somewhere, and there's something else, sir. Let's get a weapons check, people. Sumerian, but the writing's Aramaic. Ancient taggers? No, that are art critics. What's it say? <laughs> Help wanted. The gateway to paradise is unlocked with the souls of the innocent and the blood of gods. So, which are we? Well, we're not gods. Speak for yourself. Shit! It was a joke! Jones? No, not exactly. It's more like everything's just sort of... Empty. I was going to say dead. Cole, do a comm sweep for me. See if you can bring up command. I want to call in a sit rep and see what's happening. They could be friendlies. They're not stopping. Ross, you need to look at this. What you got? I, I don't think they're alive, sir. Permission to fire. Hold fire. Bullshit, man. Look at them. Permission, hold fire. Sit rep. There's nothing, sir. I've done a full sweep. Other than our own radios, we are completely cut off. We should abort. It's just temporal distortion. Nothing we haven't dealt with before. Stick to the plan. Jones, take Alpha and do some recon. Do not engage without backup. Back here in one hour. Omega, let's go. So what is the plan? We find the command center and recover the surveillance data from the attack. Whatever Leech has done here, it's clear he's in over his head. If they open the breach, there's no telling what might come out. Agent Green's in charge of the facility. She can brief us when we find her.
long since you were here last? Captain Ross? Who's there? Ross? Shh. Listen. We've been expecting you. Over there, look. Don't move! I think it wants us to follow. Everyone stay close. <laughs> 